judgment of air conditioner failure. When repairing the Shackman air conditioner, first determine whether it is an electrical fault. Turn on the key switch to check whether the meter is normal. Start the vehicle and run at idle speed. Turn on the air conditioner, press the AC switch, and observe whether the indicator light is on. If it is not on, it is an electrical fault. Please troubleshoot the electrical system. After pressing the AC switch again, the AC indicator lights up immediately, proving that the electrical system is normal. Feel the air output and the temperature change of the air outlet with your hands. If there is no air outlet, please remove the air duct blockage or fan failure first. If there is air volume, but the temperature does not change for a long time, it can be judged that the air conditioning system is faulty. If the temperature of the air outlet does not change much from the external environment, it can be judged that the air conditioning system is faulty. Keep the vehicle idling and the air conditioning system turned on. Pull up the front cover handle. Open the front cover. Feel the temperature of the high pressure pipe of the air conditioner. If it is slightly higher than the ambient temperature, the refrigerant compression system is normal. Measure the temperature of the low pressure pipe of the air conditioner. If it is significantly lower than the ambient temperature, the refrigerant evaporation system is normal. If possible, you can use a temperature measuring gun to measure the temperature of the high and low pressure tubes. Use of double meter valve. When the air conditioning system is abnormal, first measure the refrigerant pressure of the air conditioning system. Turn off the air conditioner. Turn off the engine and stand still for five minutes. Confirm that the double meter valve is closed. Unscrew the air conditioner high and low pressure pipe joint blocking cap. Connect the double meter valve high and low pressure pipeline. Red connection high pressure pipe. Blue take over low pressure pipe. Under normal circumstances, the pressure of the high and low pressure pipelines should be about 5 bar plus or minus 2 bar. If the pressure of the high and low pressure pipeline is too low, less than or equal to 3 bar or even close to 1 bar, no pressure, it means that the refrigerant is lacking or leaking. Air conditioning system leak detection. The two meters of the double meter valve are both at one bar, indicating that the pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. When this happens, check whether the air conditioning system is leaking. Checking for leaks in the air conditioning system requires a pressurization test of the air conditioning system. Pressurization requires this kind of vacuum pump or air compressor with pressurization function. Check the exhaust end of the vacuum pump or the high pressure connector of the air compressor to the air conditioning system. Turn on the vacuum pump switch. Pressurize the air conditioning low pressure pipeline to above 8 bar. Pressurize the air conditioning high pressure pipeline to more than 20 bar. Close the high pressure and low pressure valves of the dual meter valve to maintain pressure. Need to check expansion valve interface, observation port welding point, quick connector welding point, 
low pressure hose riveting joint, high pressure hose riveting joint, condenser outlet joint, condenser inlet connector, air conditioner compressor connector, etc. Use soapy water to evenly smear the inspection points and observe carefully. Seal or replace the leaking parts. Note, raw material tape or sealant cannot be used for air conditioning piping. After plugging, make sure that the air conditioning system pressure does not drop within five hours. After the air conditioning system is leaked, the internal air needs to be extracted to fill the refrigerant. System draws out all air, vacuum. For vehicles where the refrigerant has leaked, it is necessary to remove the compressor pipeline interface and add 15 to 30 milliliters of refrigerating oil to the compressor. Note, failure to replenish refrigeration oil may cause abnormal wear and tear of the compressor. Connect the suction port of the vacuum pump. Turn on the vacuum pump switch. Open the high and low pressure valves. Extract air from the air conditioning system. Close the dual meter valve, high and low pressure valve to maintain the vacuum in the air conditioning system. Turn off the vacuum pump switch and remove the yellow gas pipe connector. Refrigerant refill. Shackman stipulates the use of R134A refrigerant that meets environmental protection standards. Confirm that the vehicle is stalled before filling the refrigerant. Refilling refrigerant requires the use of a dedicated air conditioning thimble valve. Yellow air pipe connector link air conditioner thimble valve. Install refrigerant tank. Pierce the refrigerant tank and turn a few times to turn on the air conditioner thimble. Exhaust air in the trachea. When there is no pressure inside the air conditioning system, the first bottle of refrigerant, 300 milliliters, needs to be filled upside down. Please make sure that the refrigerant tank is higher than the compressor. After confirming that the first bottle of refrigerant is filled, close the double meter valve high and low pressure valve. Replace the second bottle of refrigerant and turn on the air conditioner thimble. Exhaust the air in the trachea again. The internal pressure of the air conditioning system can already open the air conditioning pressure switch. Starting from the second bottle of refrigerant, there is no need to invert it. Start the vehicle and run at idle speed. Turn on the air conditioner and confirm that the compressor is running. Turn on the switch of the low pressure pipe of the double meter valve and observe the refrigerant filling situation. Note, after starting the air conditioning compressor, only refrigerant can be filled from low pressure. The total amount of air conditioning refrigerant is about 800 milliliters. Feel the air output and the temperature change of the air outlet with your hands. Check whether the air conditioner has been repaired. Vehicles whose air conditioning function has been restored should remove the dual meter valve in time and restore the process blockage. If the air conditioner does not recover, please continue troubleshooting. 